Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Chess Now. Uh, I'm your host, Checker Film, <laughs> and uh, just saying what's up. Yo, man, I was just checking out this comic over here, and uh, sorry to talk about comics here, but I'm really excited about this Kevin Smith Green Hornet thing. They have Kato, but as a girl. I mean, that's cool, man. In any case, I get excited over the silliest things. Um, Chess Now, and uh, with me on the phone, live from New Jersey, is George Grasser. Hey, George. Hey, Phil, how you doing? I'm doing cool, man, representing, you know. We're here, you're not, well, why aren't you here, man? Well, I had some car trouble this week in my, my, uh... Car trouble? Sounds though. like an Adam Ant song. All right, fine. Well, but uh, you're gonna help me uh, play this uh, gentleman that's supposed to be coming from the, from the offices. Uh, come here, he's challenged me. Is there no one here to even challenge me? Hopefully he'll, he'll come out and uh, play me. But, uh... Besides that, I've been enjoying the weather. Everything's cool. You know, I just came off spring break. How you been? Yeah, I can't complain otherwise. How's the weather over there? Uh, it's warm. I was almost, I think, 85 today, huh? Really? Word? I heard it might have been a uh, 90 around now. But, you know, the idea is that this is a live call-in show. People could call in the, the number over here. I don't know. You're on the line, so I don't know if people could call in, but I guess they could try. And uh, the number is, what's the number there, George? Do you remember? Yeah, 212. 212. 757-1393. Oh, all right, okay, cool. People can call in if they want to talk. They want to talk about uh, chess. They want to talk about, I don't know, whatever you guys want to talk about. We're down with this. We've got 28 minutes to kill, so it's, it's looking good. Let's see if this uh, guy's going to come in here and play. Oh, man, hey, you want to hear about something really funny that happened to me over, over vacation? Sure. All right. I've been, right now at this point, I, I, I stopped eating all meat, you know, really. I, I don't eat you know, chicken or beef or anything like that. And I was just eating fish, really, just eating fish. And I got a phone call from my doctor, and guess what he told me? What? He told me I have, like, you know, a gigantic amount of mercury in my, in my system. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Is that craziness? In any case... He said that I have to lay off that, so now I have to find some sort of alternatives to eating fish. So people, you know, you know, I, the only reason I was like kind of eating fish is because, uh, you know, they have very short memory spans, so they wouldn't remember getting killed or something like that. I you know, huh. it's not natural, mortal, or kind, you know, that I, you know, I'm doing this. So I would like to be more. Uh, you must have been I get a lot of fish though to get a mercury. Yeah, you know what? They they asked me. They said I was eating. I, how much fish I had been eating, and I'd been eating um, seven to twelve servings a week. That's a lot of fish, a lot of canned tuna and stuff like that. The sodium alone is to boggle the mind. <laughs> but uh, I, I looked into some seitan and uh, some tofu. I mean, I've been eating a lot of tofu lately, but yeah, I'll, I'll get this right. So let's see, is there anybody out there? Or is there somebody, is there, is there anybody in the studio? Is there anybody in the offices? I dare say, if I'm on the line, they can't call No, in. no, no, I'm trying to see if, if, if there is uh, anybody inside the studio. Anybody? Bill, I'm gonna come out there and play a game against you. Okay? What, you're challenging me? Yes. All right, dude. All right, George, I so got this, man. I'm gonna kick, kick his butt. All right, let's, let's get him out here. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy to do this live on TV to go against the band that I've played many times on um, itsyourturn.com. Actually, you know what? I think every single time I usually lose against him, but who cares? I'm here to challenge him. I'm calling you out, Lester. Get out out here. Here he comes. The guy who does the theme music from Chess Now and also the producer, Lester the Vex. Vexy. Hey, Lester, how's it going? Hello, Phil, how are you doing? Good to see you, man. All right, so I was telling George I was going to start with, um, uh, let's see, B, C, D, D4. So that's a good move, right there, George? That's good for me? Yeah, it's very popular. Muy popular. Oh, speaking of popular, we were talking about chess opening, popular opening chess right. moves. What's up with that? Well, we're going to put up an article later yeah. on the screen. We have the website address. It's just an article talking about a study done on all the opening moves and how there's like a power law. There's like three or four openings that are used very often. I assume it's this one, this one, and those. And then it kind of drifts off in terms of which ones are used after that. 
Mm. So that, that article might be worth taking. You can print it out. There's a PDF file. Oh, cool. Is it on the website uh, for, for Chess Now? Not, not on our website. Um, but there's different chess forums, and this is an article going around right now. Okay, well, you might want to link that up on our site. All right, so what is the movie you just made? You made D5. 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 So um, there's several different uh, uh, tacks I can take here, but I'd like to d complete this game this year, so... Well, who is George helping, you or me? Me! Me! <laughs> me! All right. Because you always, you haven't, I haven't lost against you once. I mean, I haven't beat you once, except for some on time. Okay, but I get to hear his analysis as he's okay. helping you. All right, so what's, what's, uh, I'm thinking a good move for me would be to, um, go to E, 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 uh, E3. Not E3? You think E3 would be good, or should I bring out one of my pawns? I mean, one of my knights. I, I, I've played E3. You, if, if you want to play E3, you, you can. It's, it's an okay move. But it's what you do, right? I do do that, yeah. He said doo doo. Okay, here we go. I'm doing E3. Oh, no, wait a second. I, oh, man, I just totally blocked my bishop in. It's okay. We're going to use that bishop someplace else. Okay, okay, but it's locked up in there. Okay. I think the, the piece is bent over. Yeah, it is a little bit, but it's okay. My, my pieces are ratty. It's okay. So what are you going to do? Ha! Huh? What do you say to that? E3. Um, He's pondering. I'm just going to uh, bring out a, a knight, I think, here. Okay. Which one did he do? Uh, he's br brought it out to F3. No, knight to F6. Oh, yeah, I forgot he's on the other side. Knight to F6. Okay. So he's protecting his knight, but it, I'm not in danger of attacking it. So what should I do? I'm thinking of either a bishop or a knight. Well, you can move out the G1, the G1 knight or the F1 bishop. F1, I like the F1 bishop. All right, put that on D3. D3? Okay, here we go. D3. So right now it's on D3 right in front of my queen. Okay. All right, cool. What do you say to that? Wait, so who moved there? That was George's move. But that's what I would have done anyway. Come on. Now doing this, um, why am I doing that? Well, it can controls the E4 square, and it's for a long-term plan of when black castles kingside, you'll have an attack on the H7 pawn. Oh, okay, even thanks, if, man. And even Do if he decides to fianchetto that bishop on F8, you'll still have a lever with pawn to H4 and pawn to H5 to get into the G6 square. Hmm. Sounds mind-boggling to me, but okay, I'll take your word for it. All right, let's see. We could, we could show the overhead sometimes, too. Of the yeah, board I figured so I'd keep going. He, he was talking about h4 and uh, G, g6 here. It's so funny. We all keep looking back at the screen, and we keep right. looking at the screen and not looking at the camera. Hi, guys. Do we have any other camera angles in yeah, here? Yeah, we've got the overhead right there. All right on. Hey, check it out. Uh, so, George, say that again. Um, the purpose of that bishop is to aim down oh, toward, yeah, towards what? Out of my hair. Because black normally, um, in this type of position, castles king side. And if black were to play, let's say, pawn to g6 now, the bishop on d3 is not a wasted move because there's a, what they call a lever. You a can lever. Pawn to h4, and then pawn to h5, and then capture h5, g6. Are you guys following all this at home? Yeah, he's saying that I, I might move this pawn ahead, and then he would advance his h pawn. Yes. Okay. Not, not right away, of course. Sometime in the future. If, uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what, what are you thinking of there, Lester? Okay. So I noticed how we have this kind of like this complimentary outfit. We're like doing this yin and yang thing with the black versus right. the, the... You're black and you're wearing all black and I'm wearing white and I'm playing white, so... Very good and, you know, we're so ironic. Isn't it ironic? So what are you thinking of? Isn't it moronic? Uh, so I'm going to... Bring out another knight here. Bring out your knight. All right, so he's bringing out his knight, attacking my pawn. I mean, not really attacking knight it. To, knight to c6. Knight, knight to c6, okay. Knight to c6. So I'm thinking I should bring out one of my knights. Well, now he's, now he's planning on playing pawn to e5. Uh-huh. What, what you might want to consider doing in this type of situation is pawn to f4. And, th and then we'll set up what they, what they call a stone wall position. Oh, really? Pawn to F4? I'm curious. Pawn to F4. So here is here's my A, B, C, D, E, F. So am I going to go 
pawn to f4, so it's... All right. This is pawn to f4, right? Mm -hmm. Looks crazy, but all right, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm down with Stonewall. You know, I don't hate on people. Go ahead. Stonewall. And also, my queen could come out. That's you know, cool. I heard at Stonewall, the queens came out. Yeah, you can put the queen on F3. Not yet, though. Let's see what move he... I just put the pawn to F4 now. Okay. So now it's Lester's move. He's looking. He's pondering. He's formulating an artistic opinion. Yeah, no, I feel like I shouldn't move my pieces too far ahead playing playing black here. Uh-huh. Um, Conservatively. But hey. anyway, I'm just going to advance this, this center pawn here. Okay. So you played pawn e6 or what? Pawn to e6. Right? Wow, you totally knew what he was going to do. Okay. So pawn to e6. Hmm. So what do you think? Knight or queens or what's good? Uh, you can play pawn to c3. You can play knight to f3. All right, hold on. Let me get this here. So pawn to c3. So I could bring that, that up one, the, creating this yeah. zigzag design. Yeah. And also stopping his wrong. knight if he wants to put his knight there. Yeah. And uh, what was the other one? Knight to f3? That's correct. Knight to f3. That sounds interesting. I think I like pawn to c3 a little bit better because it does prevent the knight from coming into b4. All right. You know what? I'm going to go with this. You know, it's like you playing blindfolded chess here, but okay. So so I'm moving my, my d a, b, c, d. I'm moving my c pawn yep. to th one spot to three. That's correct. C3. P.O. right out here. I believe this is a good move. All right, I, it is done. It is accomplished. You're, you're channeling the, the spirit of George III. Yeah. <laughs> with every move. Yeah, you know, I think it, it, it gives me this feeling like I'm, I'm like, you know, really playing. Hmm. So it almost seems like um, whatever move I make is just going to make my position worse or something like that. Every move you make. Well, wow. it's, it's the white side that has constricted his own plan. Do you see that C1 bishop is miserable, so black does not have a, a worse position. Hold it. So it's the C1... Hold it. Well, yeah, because this bishop can't really maneuver. Yeah, it's blocked in there. It can't do anything. Because okay. you, you went for the stone wall thing here with the pawns. Well, I'll have to see how this plays out. I mean, it looks nice, but... And, and, and also, this bishop has a lot of action. You know, it's holding stuff down. And I have the queen open on an open file. A rank. File. Rank. Meh. I'm a slacker. I admit it. I love when people, uh, like, comment on, on uh, the... the, the the YouTube pages, they're like, oh, this guy is just not professional. He doesn't treat people professional. Like, yeah. uh, so, George, do you have a suggestion on the black side? Or is oh, any? really? Well, if, if, if I were black, I'd play bishop to e7, bishop to d6, bishop to d7. Um, you have so many different ways in your mind. Yeah. You can play pawn to g6, too. Are you thinking in 10 dimensions there, George? <laughs> Well, I, you got to figure out what your opponent's going to do. Otherwise, you won't be able to enter tournaments and win a chess game there if you don't don't have any foresight at all. I guess that explains uh, why I have not won any tournaments or any you know anything. And you know, guys, if you out there want to come down and uh, play us in chess now, you know that uh, the option is open. All you have to do is just um, either email, right? The um, simplest thing is just to show up here in two weeks. Well, okay, so in two weeks from now we'll be filming again? Right. Oh, yeah, I think we have a guest coming in, but it's okay. Come down well, anyway. We have to, we'll we pick have to hurry up now. It's 7.15. Okay. Oh, 7.15. Good one. Keeping um, us on moving. What's that? What's that say? Should we show the website? Oh, yeah, um, sure, show the website. Sure. sure. So I you can talk. That, we're, um, we're good. What was that? Um, Welcome back, Princess Fiona, onto the Chess Now program. Uh, sorry, George, so did you suggest um, the g6 pawn movement? Yeah, you can do that. Why not? You didn't say b6, right? No, g g6. Uh, pawn to b6. If you want to play pawn to b6, I suppose you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. It looks a little weakening over there. But if I wanted to open up my queen side on this black queen side later, then wouldn't... I think, 
that's going to involve probably something like knight to e7 or maybe even mm -hmm. knight back to b8, um, knight to a5 could be a possibility in the future to come into c4, but I don't envision that right away. Mm. But yeah, uh, in a situation mm. like this, you might want to go knight to e7 to g6 with that knight, but I wouldn't do it right now. I'd get that bishop on f8 out first. That's Come on, get that bishop out there. So, so this g6 is just closing down that that white bishop. Like, did it, you just move that now? Yeah, I did. Uh, that was pawn to g6. He just moved pawn to g6. Oh, it looks like you're creating your own little stone wall on the other side of that knight. So I played a George move there. Yeah, okay. It's George against George now. Yeah. All right, so let's see. So you heard that, George? You got that, uh, yeah. you have a board at home that you're playing this on? Yep, yep. So what would you like to do now, Phil? Um, okay, so let me see. What would be good? Mm. Want to play a crazy move? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A speculative right. move? Try, yeah, try pawn to g4. Pawn to g4, okay. C, D, E, F, G, G, 4, right there? Yeah. Um, but I'm threatening he could just take me with his knight. Oh, uh, your queen protects that. Oh, okay, then. Whoop, in your face. That's a crazy move, man. Yes. Do people usually take this? Mm, I wouldn't play that in a, in a tournament game. I'm just trying to be speculative to see what So you're I'm just trying to have some fun, since you're yeah. playing, I'm really kind of playing both sides. Ooh, okay. I see some stuff I can do next. So what did Lester do after pawn G? I'm gonna move my bishop here. Uh oh. Nah, that'll be two moves <clears throat> till he can Bishop castle. to D seven. He's moving bishop to D seven. Okay. So bishop D7, to D. Right? Now, um, should I push it? Should I push it on his uh, knight right now? Well, let me see. No, I wouldn't do that. I do knight on B to D two. I think. Knight on D to D2? Knight on B to D2. Knight B1 to D2. And that's right here? Yeah. In front of, in front of the queen? That's correct, yep. Yeah. Lester, oh. you did play bishop to D7, right? Yeah. He... D as in dog. Yeah. Okay. So you're saying knight to D, D2? Yeah, that's correct. I don't know. Seems nutty, but this game has all been about nuttiness. Yeah, I think I see something I could do with this afterwards. So. Well, the the point of that move is so it could eventually land on one of these um, squares, squares in the center, like because so. you have this pawn that can support the knight landing here, like coming yeah, up here. Yeah, right? how do I get there? I could go here, then here. He can't go here. I could go here, then here. All right, it'll take me two moves to do that. Okay, it's seven eighteen now. Oh, seven eighteen! Boy, he's on top of the time and everything. So, um, George, is that knight destined for uh, Glory. c4 or e4? Are you going to tell him? Yeah, it's, it's, possibility. it's a possibility in the future, but what I did that, uh, the reason why I did that was to prevent knight going on to, into e4. So I'm stopping you from going there. After, after I played g4, I noticed that that was a little defect with that plan. Mm. All right, well, let's see what he thinks of. All right, we'll run it through a chess analysis later. Uh-huh. Um, seven ponderous. A six. Hmm. A six. A six. Why would you do that? All right. A six. Eh? Oh. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Should I bring out the other knight so I could castle? Well, I, I think I think we're gonna put the queen on f3. So let's get our queen out first. Queen to f3. Queen f3. F it. Right here. Yeah. Okay. Queen to f3. And our special George versus George. No, you're making your own moves there, yeah, Lester. I am. Yeah. Is it my move on itsyourturn.com? Yeah, it is. It's uh, been your move for a couple of days. All right, well, well I'll, I'll, yeah, you know what? I don't want to time out on it. <clears throat> Actually, some people timed out on me, so I got the win. Yeah, I got more wins than losses right now. Okay, I'm going to move this pawn up. Uh-huh. To what? That is B, pawn to B4. 
Five. Pawn to b5. Okay, now we're pretty sure that black is not going to castle queen side because he, he damaged that side by moving the pawn up. Every time you move a pawn, it creates a weakness. Mm -hmm. so now we're pretty sure he's going to stay in the center or castle king side. So now we can bring our other knight out. So I can castle on this side afterwards? Oh, yeah. White could probably castle on the king side and still be safe because we have a pawn at h2. Right. Keep our, keep and I got the queen in front of everything. Yeah. She's gangsta. So um, should I move my knight to uh, eight, or should I move my knight in? Uh, to e2, right in front of the king. E2. I'm going in. You know, I don't like to put it on the edge over there because the knight on the rim is dim. That's correct. Right on. Let's see. You know, people could... Uh, Contact uh, Chess now on uh, YouTube or the website on Fractal Interval, right? They can. Just do a different search for it. You know, you always could check out. Uh, also, download these episodes on the Pirate Bay. What? 722. Uh-oh. Time is running. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. This looks like a pretty powerful game. From the mind of Minolta or George, either one. When's the bloodshed going to start? Right now. Uh-oh. Okay, he just pushed up his pawn one more time to uh, where? Pawn to b4. Pawn to b4. Pawn. Before what? Okay, that's pretty innocuous in my opinion. Innocuous? He could take, he could take that pawn right there. Or he could take the pawn at c3, but that doesn't mean anything. Huh. I, I would, the response I'm expecting is you're going to push this white pawn up, so pawn to c4. You think I'm going to do that? Why would I do that? Besides, I want to castle on this side, so then it really won't matter anymore. And besides, I have this knight over here that'll take anything going on. I think we should just play pawn to h4 and keep up the craziness. Pawn to h4? But what, what would be the stronger move here, George? Hold it, pawn to h4. Hold it, wait a second. You mean a stronger move for black or a stronger move for what, white? What's a strong move for white? What's, what's white's response here? Like, not a crazy response. Uh... I, I, I like pawn to h4 anyway. Even h4? The craziness, it's not a bad move. Okay, I'm going for this craziness. Pawn to h4. We're getting nuts here. Hey, Princess Fiona, what's going on? Should I try the website again? Um, what do you mean? It's, we showed the website. It's there. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not necessary. Okay, no. it's okay. It's so funny, you get to see a little of what Lester does behind the scenes at chess now. He's right. like, eh, you know, he's like a king. He's like, eh, I don't know. Eh, it's all good. George, I appreciate you helping us out on uh, uh, all the way there from Jersey. Remote viewing, literally. Well, using the streaming technology. Yes, thank goodness for technology. Yeah. So now what? I'm thinking to maybe just move my bishop. I'll just move it. Uh -huh. uh, bishop to d6. Okay, okay, so Lester, why did you put the pawn on g6? No. You weren't going to put the bishop on g7. <laughs> Wait, what? Say that again? He asked why did you put your pawn... When you, when you make the fianchetto with pawn to g6, the bishop has to go in that hole. Oh, uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Where? No, I, I was worried about that because you have all these white pawns aiming down at me. Okay. He got right. shook. All right. So the fianchetto is what? It, if I would have slipped the bishop into this pocket here. Yeah. Oh, and then you move it um, next. I, I don't generally like, I don't know. I'm not, not yeah. too familiar Let with it. Let the right one slip in, I say. Okay, so what do you want to do now, Phil? Mm, oh, do we push any more pawns? Or do we castle? Well, just, the, the position seems limitless. I see <laughs> pawn to f5 as a possibility. I see pawn to g5. I see pawn to h5. Yeah, let's threaten. Let's threaten his, um, let's threaten his knight. You want to do pawn g5? Okay. Okay, so I'm threatening your knight. Come on, gangster. Now what? Is that that pawn to g5? Yeah. Okay, pawn to g5. I'm attacking your battleship. Ooh, but wait a second. What if he goes there? Oh, I saw a weakness in this thing. <laughs> Have I overextended myself? Well, he he has a uh, a place to hide. I suppose he can play probably knight to h5 or. He can 20 just seconds left. Me. 20 seconds left. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Phil from Jack. Knight to H5. <laughs> I was thinking if I move this knight towards the center, I'm just going to destroy my center. It's going to implode. 
Yes, the center yeah, cannot you hold. Can't go into e4 because it's not supported enough. I have too many squares attacking e. I have too many pieces attacking e4. Weird, far too gangster on this side. Well, in any case, while he's pondering, this has been Chess Now, and we'll be back in two weeks, live on the air, taking your calls. George, will you be in? Yeah, I'm going to try to make it. I'll be looking forward to seeing you right. down here, and we'll get some good gaming on. All right, All right, thanks. Take care. Thanks. See you. Bye. Thanks, Lester. Thanks, Phil. Good game. All right, we'll get the notation up on the internet. Wow, yeah. And, and everybody can talk about what they would have done. Right. You know, everybody's all like,